drive for 10 minutes and you're in the bush with nothing around you and absolute silence. Like, you know, the silence is really quite beautiful. It can be confronting. I mean, a lot of people who come from the city to visit, like it really kind of freaks them out a little bit at first because it is so quiet. There's a delightful phrase that Broken Hill people have, that they're from away, simply away, means they're not from here. But it actually says so much about that connectivity to the place they hold dear. And in every way, they have a sense of ownership, a sense of identity with it. I like going bush and just sitting down. Because when you go a bush, mainly on the river somewhere, you see young uh, animals like birds and that, they'll come along and they'll sing out and watch. I'll talk to them in Barkany language. They'll talk, but we can't understand. But I'll get a lot of work done from this one, that bird singing out and mucking around. And sometimes the emus or the kangaroo will come along. And if I'm carbon and the emu come along, I won't kill it to eat it. You know, we eat emu. But if it come along and wipe me carbon, I'll, just, I'll talk to it and just, but I won't get up and hunt it then. I'll go somewhere else and get another emu because that emu that came along as a messenger telling me to hold people's spirit, keep carbon. So I just don't kill it. I know it sounds silly, but that's the way I think. You know, when, when you can hear nothing else, all you're left with is yourself. And that again is probably one of the things that the environment has been doing to affect the people. We're an isolated place and it's always evolved of itself. It's, it's sort of like the Galapagos Islands. You know, this isolated group of people in the middle of nowhere uh, have just evolved independent of anything else. It's, it's a combination of that, that wild landscape with, it, with its extremes of temperature, but also the story it tells of how humankind came here and struggled here and in the end stayed. There were literally hundreds, probably thousands over the decades of miners normally from Europe, a lot of Chinese as well, that would come out seeking in their mine El Dorado, hoping to have instant riches. In fact, the vast majority went away with nothing. Over the course of the period we've been here, we've found something like 200 spades and pig heads are scattered across our 10,000 acres. And there's no wood, there's no handle because the white ant, which is endemic to this district, removes every piece of wood that remains anywhere. You will never find a handle to a tool that's been left. Came to Broken Hill a very young mother in 1974. I can remember arriving in the middle of the night with a very, we had a little old Morris Minor that travelled at about 80 k's an hour if you prayed hard. And we travelled all day and half the night from Canberra. And as we went on and it got darker, I'd look out and there'd be a letterbox and nothing, just black. And I'm thinking, where are we? And we arrived here in Broken Hill and um, came up to this little stone cottage. That woke up in the morning and looked out over the regeneration area and just the hills going on seemed like nothing all the way to the Indian Ocean and I, just, I was hooked and that was it and I basically have not left the town since and I have tried on a couple of occasions and I couldn't, I felt like I had an umbilical cord connecting me to this place and I had to come back. 